One of the biggest keys to success for the Rangers to actually have a great playoff run and potentially win a Stanley Cup, which is obviously the ultimate end goal for the New York Rangers, and that is the forward line made up of Artemi Panarin, Vincent Trocek, and Alexis Lafreniere. I don't think I'm being wrong here when I say that this has clearly been the number one forward line on the Rangers this season. I think it's pretty obvious. They have been absolutely phenomenal. The chemistry between all three of them has been great, especially the chemistry, though, between Lafreniere and Panarin, who obviously Lafreniere has finally taken that massive step forward that we've all been waiting for. And now that he's taken that big step in his overall game, we have clearly seen the impact that he can have on this team, scoring at 515 at an amazing rate so let's take a look here at the points kind of what they've done so far this season all three of them starting off here with Artemi Panarin who right now has 78 games played 46 goals 69 assists for 115 total points and a very important part about these numbers is the fact that he does have a lot of these points at 515 even strength which is very important obviously I mean we know this team has a, a pretty great power play but at times the 515 scoring can be a little shaky with his overall team so having a line like this who has been quite dominant at 515 is very important taking a look here though I mean Panarin has 36 of his 46 total goals at 5 on 5 or even strength, which is obviously very good. And then you also have for the assist, he has 36 even strength assists compared to 32 power play assists. So in general, he's always getting most of his points at 5 on 5 or even strength, which is very important to see. And for Panarin, he has blown past his previous career high totals in points and goals, as he does have 46 goals this season, which obviously is a career high. His previous total was 32, so quite a big jump there, 14 goals, and obviously the season is not over yet. And then also for the points there, his previous career high was 96 back in 2021-2022. This year, 115, he has smashed that total as well. So Panarin having a career year, he has been absolutely phenomenal for this team. Taking a look now at Vincent Trocek. He's got 78 games played, 25 goals, 50 assists, which is a career high as his previous career high total was 44 back in 2017-18, so quite a while ago. And then you take a look at his points, which is also, well, tied a career high of 75, so that's pretty good as well. I mean, assuming he gets one more point in the next four games or so, he will have a new career high. At even strength, though, he does have 13 of his 25 total goals at even strength, which is very good to see. 11 power play and one shorthanded, so not too bad there at all. And for the assists, he does have 38 of his total 50 assists this season at even strength, which is a very good sign. Obviously, he has been great at 5 on 5, which is what you need. And then taking a look here at Alexis Lafreniere this season, he has a career high in goals, assists, and points, as he does have 78 games played, 27 goals, 29 assists for 56 total points and the big thing with him he only has two power play goals and four power play assists for a total of six power play points right now he has 50 total points at even the strength this season 25 goals 25 assists he's a good goal scorer good playmaker he has phenomenal chemistry with Artemi Panarin and Trocek he's also got five game winning goals this season I mean he has just been honestly unreal this season he's been absolutely fantastic the numbers he's put up the overall play that he's had I mean he's overall just been a great player and a much improved player as well I mean you can clearly tell a difference in the confidence and the overall just kind of play and awareness on the ice I mean he just looks so much better than last season in pretty much every aspect of his game and that is a very good sign because obviously he was drafted to that as that first overall pick with a lot of expectations and potential and you know we didn't quite see that the first couple of seasons with him obviously on this team but now that he's finally gotten a bit more ice time playing with some better players in that top six consistently and that's the big thing as well is he's getting consistent time with the same line mates every single night and night out which is great to see because last year in the years and past and stuff we've seen him kind of jump around a lot in the lines now that he's finally stuck in the top six they're getting consistent line mates and consistent minutes we are finally seeing Alexis Lafreniere turning into that top six caliber winger now taking a look though at where these three players currently sit among the even strength points leaders in the entire NHL. Right now, Artemi Panarin is tied for fifth place with Austin Matthews with 72, so not too bad there at all. Right above them is Pasternak with 73, and right below them is Crosby with 65, so Panarin's doing a pretty great job at even strength. And then taking a look at where Trocek and Lafreniere sit, Trocek is right now 
Tied for 23rd in the entire league right now with guys like Wyatt Johnston, Matthew Kachuk, Karol Kaprizov, Sam Reinhart, Jake Ensel, and Jonathan Marcheseau. So not too bad there at all with 51 even strength points. And for Lafreniere, he is right now tied for 30th place in the entire NHL for even strength points with guys like Tim Stutzla, Jason Robertson, Travis Konechny, Nikola Ehlers, so I think it's pretty obvious that Lafreniere is doing something quite good this season. I mean, he has had a massive impact on this team. I think the coaching staff is also a part in this as well, for sure. I mean, Lafayette has actually given him the ice time. He's trusted him in the top six there alongside a superstar like Panarin and obviously a very talented player like Vincent Trocek. I think that's great to see that obviously this coaching staff has definitely had an impact on how much of an impact, you know, obviously Kyle like Lafreniere has had this year. But I think in general, though, this line has the chance to be a massive, massive apart in the range of success if this line isn't connecting and isn't going at 515 in the playoffs we're gonna have a tough time here i think moving on and really going on a deep playoff run but if they can keep going like this this team has the chance to really have a monster playoff run here i mean obviously if they're not the end all bl you have to have the other lines go as well i mean that Kreider is a benajad line whoever is their right winger they have to get going as well at 515 ideally i mean we know they have definitely have their struggles at times, but if they can get going in this line at 5-1-5, this team has a chance to truly go a very, very long way in the playoffs and potentially win it all. But the importance of this line doing their job once again, like the regular season and doing so in the playoffs as well, at 5-1-5, five five, at even strength, is a big, big thing for this team. they got to get it done, and if they can, this team truly has a chance to potentially win a Stanley Cup. Anyways, though, thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed this video, please smash the like button. Don't forget to comment down below your thoughts on this video. And also, don't forget to subscribe for daily New York Rangers content. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next one. See ya.